What's up guys, Blacker Bricks here, back with another video after uh, sort of, I guess, another hiatus. Now, I apologize for not uploading over the last couple of days. I have been pretty busy and I really don't want you guys to expect this to happen, that I take like the whole weekend off and then on Tuesday I do like a four uh, video like dump, but um, this probably shouldn't happen again. I know it happened last week, but here I am with this set. Now, this is set 7000, so 7000, and this is Razkal's Glider. Now, as you could probably tell by me opening the box, this was actually the first time I opened the set, and I purchased this, I think, a year ago, and it's part of the huge backlog I currently have. So, this is, again, a different style that the camera's actually facing me, and you can see my mic is sitting here. I'm sorry about that. I uh, haven't picked up a... Um, uh, a, a I guess a normal mic yet, so I'm just using my phone and a microphone stand. But anyways, um, let me just zoom in just a bit. Hopefully it won't take the entire thing out of focus. Um, that's the only issue with me filming by myself, is that it's kind of hard. So, um, it's a fairly small set. It only comes with 109 pieces, but I, I really enjoyed putting it together. This is the first um, unopened set. I have built in a while, so I definitely had a good time with it. Now, we do have a Razkal minifigure over here. He's the main character uh, who the glide is for, but I'm just going to, I guess, pull him aside for just a second so we can just focus on the build itself, right? So, uh, as, as was the trend with these Chima sets at the time, is the vehicles would reflect the animal that they were based on, right? Uh, I'll just give you a bit of background, right? So, there were multiple tribes, and this was the Raven tribe. So, the build in this, the glider, is supposed to be, obviously, be a glider, so an aerial vehicle. And it's just based generally on a, the uh, <laughs> Raven so they did a great job, especially in the small scale. It's really difficult to create a... Uh, a very fun and as the senior designer Jamie Berard always says, uh, a swooshable, right? You want something that you can just like carry around and I think this really, uh, it fulfills that very well. Um, let me just focus that a bit. So I, I like the color scheme as well. I'm sorry if it, the lighting here isn't the best, but the colors on this are, um, we got purple, dark purple, black, uh, white and light bluish gray. Uh, there's a bit of dark red splashed in there as well. You can see that on the sides you're speaking through. Now I'll just take a look, a quick look at some of the main features. Now this is supposed to represent a beak. It's this softer plastic over here. We have these red studs over here, which I guess you could count as eyes. Um, there's a bone over here, and then this right here is really where the minifigure is supposed to sit. Now, he does have a weapon in him right now, so I, I don't know how easily it will be for him to sit. If I remove the weapon, um, just real quick. Oh my god, his arm came out. That is not good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's something that happened more often. I don't remember that happening ever. But you saw it on camera, so it's not like I did anything. So his arm just came off when I had to pull his weapon out. But let me see if I can just fit him in right there. He actually fits in pretty comfortably. Uh, I guess it is sort of funny how big he is compared to the raven itself. It's a, a, a bit amusing, but it's no, it's no worry. I think he fits in fairly good. Now, there is a chi crystal over here in the back, so I guess you can take a look like, oh, wow, this vehicle is being powered by the chi. Uh, that's some, this is a pretty big uh, trend, I guess, in Shima. Now, over here, we actually have something which you don't see in too many sets nowadays, but was quite common back in the day. A flick fire missile, which is actually connected to a chain. So there's a little button over here, and this is supposed to be sort of a uh, backfiring uh, missile. So the, the vehicle is flying this way, and like someone's chasing you back, so you just you shoot that out. And it's really simple. Um, it's a really good play feature. I, I like that they had a chain there, so it's not like, oh my god, I just lost it. It's gone forever. Um, that's nice. Now they do have these preformed pieces. Um, they are in black and there are four of them. So one, two, three, four. And those can be posed just a bit, just like that. You saw in the speed build, I was struggling just a bit with the orientation. And we have this tail over here in dark purple. Now, I don't know how well you can see that, but we have these little clips over here, right? And there's nothing attached to them currently. But the interesting thing is, if I put this down for a second, this is the weapon 
that the main figure, Razkal, comes with. Now, at first glance, it might look like it's no big deal, but they, what they actually suggest at the end in the instructions is you want to take these two purple pieces off, just like that, and for now, just put this down, and then what you want to do is grab your little vehicle right over here and attach them as sort of ornaments over here. So just like that, and if I can do that just with one hand, let's see. So now you have these uh, additional tail feathers over here, and that looks really great. Now there is actually an extra clip right over there, right? And you can take this piece over here and just attach it. Let's see if I can do that, um, just like so. So there you go. We got the uh, vehicle attached, or rather, the weapon attached. And one thing I really love in sets is when they uh, when they give you space to attach the weapons. I think that's awesome that they did that. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the set in general. Um, I guess the last thing we can take a look at is there are actually some prints over here. These are not stickers because this was such a small set. Um, oh my! I just realized. I hope the mic isn't off too much. So that's just a simple, uh, it's just a simple print on a one by two tile. Now I guess the last thing we can really take a look at is the feet that they used, and these are just some of these uh, claws attached to these um, arms, which can just be rotated. Uh, the underside is nothing special, and I'll put that back down. And why don't we just take a quick look at the uh, Razkal minifigure before I wrap everything up? Um, I'm not gonna do any cuts in this video. I just want it to be sort of just unedited. Um, let me see. All right, so there is Razkal. Now, what they did with these figures is they gave them this harness, right? And this harness served a dual purpose. So not only did it have a place to hold the one by one round tile for the chi, but it also has these two studs on the back. So what they do with those two studs is they'd attach these wing pieces, which would have these bars on them. And then they just attach these little clips, right, like that. So you could give them the black wings for the ravens, and then we'd have the um, white wings for the eagles. Now they, they did this with the uh, future seasons as well. They had bats, they had phoenixes, and all sorts of creatures. Now the one very uh, strange thing about these figures is they'd have these specialized helmets and underneath them they'd have these faces. Now because these helmets were so oddly shaped, the faces underneath would almost always end up looking very strange, just like this. Like the eyes and the nose and it would just look very strange unfortunately. Now I can show you, that's probably not the, uh, the main face they want you to see, this is the second face. Um, this is supposed to be the primary face. And you can just put that mask on, just like that. Let me just align it, just like so. And uh, obviously you could take all of it off, and um, I'll just do that real quick. And you can see that these were incredibly detailed figures. They did not spare any expense when it came to the details. Um, they did a fantastic job. They had the cheat even underneath the harness. The legs were printed all the way down to the toes and on the back as well. Even though the legs didn't have anything, the back of the torso was phenomenal. Now, as I put this minifigure together, I think it's time I should just talk about what I thought of this set overall. Now, this set, I believe, retailed for just around $10. It was 100 pieces, and I think this was a great little set to add. I mean, if you wanted to build up your armies of the different tribes, this was a great set to pick up, especially if you're a fan of the Ravens. I remember that I never picked this up when it first came out, so I, I bought it secondhand. Um, well, not secondhand, I bought it on Bricklink, I think. This was one of my first Bricklink purchases. So I definitely had a lot of fun with it. I'll bring it back in focus. And I think even for its small size, they added a lot of details into that. And that's really all I look for in a good Lego set. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to, I guess, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, check out some of the affiliate links down below to help support the channel. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.